hello everyone uh, welcome to this video series about masters in netherlands i have done few videos before you can see them flashing on the screen so this is another video where i'm going to discuss with mrinal whom i found via linkedin uh, about masters in sustainable energy technology tu delft netherlands we'll discuss in details so off to you mrinal thank you for joining us off to you mrinal like give a brief introduction like where are you from why did you decide to choose to come to tudal netherlands hello samvit uh, it's pleasure is mine uh, as you, as all of you can see i'm from india and currently i'm doing my masters here in sustainable energy technology and my profile is solar power and economics basically uh, when you do one quarter and then after one quarter you have to choose a profile and there were other profiles also um, which we can discuss later i suppose so yeah i came here because there were many reasons um multiple reasons i am i can say but the most important part was uh, my passion towards this subject because uh, i did similar things in my bachelor's uh, as a project and then i have also done a masters also in thermal engineering so my thesis was based on this topic solar so i was quite into this topic and i didn't wanted to do phd so that's also one of one of the major reason and for the phd uh, you have to choose a uh, uh, mechanical uh, uh, which was my background so i have to go into that uh, but i wanted to study uh, in the field of solar so for that um, i don't have any prior knowledge so yeah masters is the only option in which uh, i can get much more uh, learning about this topic okay uh, so was there any specific region that you chose netherlands because of some options in this field or it was just a choice of like going for tu delft or netherlands not do you, i heard about tu delft tu delft is one of the most renowned uh, university in the world and it has good ranking and one of my friend uh, is studying here actually he has passed out in this uh, last year so he's my he's a friend uh, from my bachelor's so i contacted him and we were in contact and then he told me about this uh, university and i was looking for this uh, subject uh, in which i can study about the solar or uh, photovoltaics i was looking out for options so i found out in europe uh, there are few universities but uh, netherlands sent to delft was the one because uh, uh, because of my friend also and uh, the uh, the major thing i found out is uh, uh, the communication is very good because people everyone speaks english so that's also advantage i would say yeah okay okay so now going to the main thing for which we have the interview like what is your experience of doing a masters in tu delft sustainable energy technology till now so to answer this question we'll go step by step into different components mm -hmm. like maybe first you can address like the study load and the ects system that you have like the quarterly system and everything credits mm -hmm. you need to take i have completed uh, one year i have joined last year and the uh, study load is like uh, you have to pass 60 credits for in one year and then if you want to do thesis at least you should get uh, 60 credits and then the rest 60 credits is uh, divided into two sections whether you can uh, where uh, 15 grades is for internship or any project work or anything it can be anything it depends on you and 45 credits is for uh, thesis part so 60 60 credits in this sustainable energy technology is purely for studying it varies for different uh, faculties uh, for different courses but for sct 60 credits first year we study and each quarter we study around 15 and then it goes like for four quarters we have to complete 60 credits it's compulsory if you want to do thesis uh, first you have to complete this one this load uh, you have to get this credit So okay. This is the study load. And yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, 
so i heard from i mean i also have done my masters here so you have a quarterly system here so do you find it very hectic because of the like you yes. have two quarters inside a semester absolutely it's very challenging because uh, mostly we are used to for the semester system and it's quarterly in each quarter you have to study three subjects three or four subjects and uh, they are it's very hectic and the study load is very intense and yeah it's um, but it's a new learning and it's a it's a great fantastic experience i'd say uh, because you get to learn so many things in these three uh, months and their project work because uh, it it won't be boring uh, because uh, you would be doing project work and uh, with groups and also along with along with uh, the theory part but uh, i would say it's uh, it's important uh, to get it uh, to keep this uh, hectic thing it's really good and it's it's a different from other universities because i i have friends from germany and italy i heard that uh, the study load is not that much hectic as it's in tudelf uh, but yeah it's very nice it's um, you will get used to after some time it's uh, it becomes new for initially on initial days for after one quarter it becomes like okay yeah <laughs> what else can we do <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah that's so true like uh, you get used to the system and uh, yeah so talking about the thesis you mentioned like uh, do you have like uh, you also have options because i know like you can do a thesis with the university or you can also do a thesis with the industry and then you can get paid every month certain um, salary because you are associated with the industry so what is the case in your department in your sustainable energy technology yeah it's the same it's the same with every uh, every other courses like it depends on you whether you want to do uh, thesis opportunity whether you want to do the thesis with the university or with the company but with the company you have to look for it and you have to <clears throat> contact them and then after getting selected the first uh, first thing is like you have to speak with your supervisor in the university that's very important because the main supervisor will be the university person uh, the professor he will be the main person uh, first supervisor and the second supervisor will be the person who is in the company so it's very important to um, uh, to convince that okay uh, this is what i'm uh, trying to do in the universe in the company and this is how it's related to the subject which i am studying here and you have to convince him and then if he agrees then only we can do the thesis in the company and yeah obviously you get paid uh, you get paid for this uh, thesis work and that's good because you get the exposure of the universe uh, for the company and the working culture in the netherlands so uh, roughly how much can you expect on hand uh, every month when you are doing like a range uh, if you do a, a thesis with the industry in your field uh, it's around uh, 500 to 700 let's say so it's 700 it euros will be maybe just sufficient just sufficient, sufficient or maybe yeah, sufficient enough for to the living uh, Uh, to yeah sufficient enough to uh, to cover the living expenses here not yeah. more than that you can't expect yeah. it like okay yeah <laughs> you can have fun you can party with this money <laughs> it's just uh, to cover up your expenses and okay. even in some cases it won't be enough <laughs> and uh, do you know any specific companies in your field that people can apply for internships and how easy it is to get an internship as compared to getting a job um firstly i would say i, I wanted to mention this uh, like um, i wanted to mention the study course uh, the profiles i wanted to mention about this then i will answer this part uh, the thesis one and the company one uh, the profile which we which i am here uh, there are few profiles like either you can study wind or you can study solar or you can study biomass these are three important parts of the sustainable energy technology basically so you can choose any of these three or you can uh, you know, there are six profile clusters have been prepared here uh, which you can study uh, like if you want to do um, basically most of the people who are from the mechanical background choose wind but <laughs> i'm the, i feel like i am the only one who is having the mechanical background and i have not chosen wind it's the solar is a completely different topic uh, because in this you you are studying about electronics you are studying about electrical 
So uh, for this, there are uh, clusters. Even people are choosing solar and wind and uh, storage. Also, yeah, there is one storage. I forgot about that. So people who wanted to study this um, can choose autonomous, which is an autonomous solar and wind and storage. But uh, from my experience, what I've heard from various people, it's better to choose one solar one package like uh, uh, like the one which I am uh, studying here, like solar power and economics, which covers a complete range of uh, topics, a complete range of things which you experience uh, in a renewable energy technologies, <clears throat> or there are wind power and economics, or there are biomass. Merging both solar and wind and storage, it's like you won't be studying too much uh, everything about this renewable energy technologies you would be studying and it becomes hectic also and uh, okay so based on this there are various companies like if you are choosing wind there are companies like um, Vattenfall uh, which we pronounce Vattenfall but it's uh, Vatten, Vattenfall I suppose but it's pronounced here as Vattenfall okay and uh, it's a very big company uh, for wind, uh, it's it's nice, and for the solar, there are companies, there are small companies, and also you uh, you might have heard about Shell. Shell is a company yeah. which does not directly recruit the solar people, but yeah, it works in the field of solar, and and um, I'm not in my, an echo is also. Mm -hmm. uh, working in the field wind also right or it's only solar and echo no no it works in wind and it's a bit, but major work i suppose it's doing in solar i don't exactly uh, remember yeah i mean yeah. we'll leave the name of the companies in the description below so people can just google it and see sure it. sure 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 and basically for the solar there are small companies not very big companies working here and the wind is very popular here uh, for wind i would say to delft and then there is one uh, in uh, I'm not Denmark, uh, the University of Denmark. It's very popular. Two universities are very good for wind. Uh, the Denmark comes uh, in the first place, and then the second one is uh, TU Delft and wind. If you want to go, if you want to study this topic, and wind is very famous, very famous in European countries <clears throat> because you can see um, it. it automatically affects it is related to the environment and the to, to the area which you are saying yeah uh, in these regions uh, wind is much more favorable but if you go somewhere south like in spain or obviously in asia solar is the favorable one <clears throat> but yeah it depends on you which um, which topic you want to study and also there are a few companies for biomass too but i don't have that much experience about that subject okay I think that is already too much details, and I I feel that people will be really benefiting from this uh, information. So. Like, and I can totally agree with what you said. Like, uh, it depends on the geography. Like, which field you want to study? Like, wind for this region and solar for this yeah, region you have because to of the. Think about this because uh, if you if you are coming here, if you are choosing sustainable energy technology, within uh, after one quarter you have to choose which area you want to study it's very important and you have to decide because some reasons are favorable for wind and some reasons are favorable for solar because there will be more companies here it's a possibility so you have to decide that okay yeah so uh, before ending your experience of studying uh, one more point is like uh, what was your overall teaching experience uh, relationship with the professors like how open they are and how was the course curriculum what was your overall experience um, like how was teaching. the course design the teaching and how are how approachable are the professors okay uh, I found out uh, no, it's very it's very easy to contact them. If you want to contact them, like if you have any doubts, uh, you can either set a meeting, uh, just mail them, and then uh, a meeting will be. The, he will ask. He will give a proper date and time, and then you can meet him at his uh, office. Uh, or uh, if you have doubt while giving lectures, uh, either you can ask him in the middle, or when it ends, you you can just approach him and then ask the doubts. Uh, they are very comfortable. Uh, uh, it's very comfortable to ask them. I found out much more better <laughs> while I was studying in this uh, online thing, because uh, in the online uh, <clears throat> in the class it's like 60, 70 people are 
uh, are there and if you have any doubt you it becomes uh, people are a little bit he uh, people hesitate to ask at that moment and it also breaks the breaks the rhythm of the professor and in this online thing i i was like okay we can ask questions and we can just write down uh, the questions and whenever the professor feels like okay i can discuss this one it's better i find it much more comfortable here so uh, the teaching experience was really good uh, because uh, it's very different from what we study in india and the way the teaches uh, the course structure is very properly managed and um, they have uh, as i have already mentioned there are so many project work which you have to do and in groups it uh, it it builds your uh, it builds your knowledge in a much better way because when you are doing it in a project when you are experiencing it uh, while studying it really helps and there are deadlines which becomes very hectic because in every week there are few subjects like uh, there are few subjects in economics uh, which i uh, in which i had to study two journals every week and then i have to review them <laughs> and it becomes very hectic <clears throat> yes and even in uh, other subjects also in power or solar uh, there were few things which uh, in which you know you were asked to submit a, uh, submit the report work after every week or alternate week but it's very uh, it's doable i won't say it's not doable because i have done it and many of the people are doing this uh and you can see how much can you work it <laughs> and you can actually uh, you will be surprised that okay uh, am i really capable of doing those many things and studying that much and it's it's very much different from india okay Be because i have i have studied i have done my bachelor's i have done my masters and i have also um uh, working there as an assistant professor so i know this uh, the academic part in india and i would say that okay the things which we study here are very different and there is so much to learn so much to learn uh which university did you do assistant professor in india uh, i was the I was in ip university in the first okay. university in delhi okay okay um, what are the other funding opportunities maybe uh, part time job or ta or student assistants like is it available easily or how can you get them like very briefly like okay so um, i would start with the tuition fee it's around 18750 for one year and it increases 2% for the next year and i suppose but uh, during this time they have not increased so it's 18750 <laughs> it's too much <laughs> for the indian only people. tuition fees only tuition fees it's 18000 for one year and <laughs> yeah the people uh, who are from netherlands or who is who are from europe <laughs> they have to pay only 2000 so you can just imagine we are paying 20 times i suppose 10 yeah 10 uh, yeah. times we are paying 10 times what they are paying so uh, it's really so funding opportunities is like um either you can take loan as i have taken most of the people take loan uh, or if you have any sponsor who can provide this uh, funding and yeah or if you can sponsor from if uh, if you can sponsor yourself like your parents are paying this fee so this is like uh, and also there are scholarship opportunities but for the scholarship opportunity you have to be and you have to submit your application by the end of december i suppose which i didn't because i was not really uh, i was just um, i was not sure i was choosing universities <laughs> and it's very soon because uh, you have to complete ielts and uh, you have to do various sorts of things before applying this uh, <laughs> so i don't know about the scholarship uh, application because i applied on march and it's very important if you apply uh, early as early as possible because it will be helpful for you for getting you the housing facility here it's tough to get housing so i would say if you have already if people have already decided to come to to delf don't wait for anything just uh, apply as soon as possible and if you're looking for a scholarship it's very tough to get scholarship because in the whole faculty you get only one scholarship one or two scholars uh, people are getting scholarship 
and uh, it's complete full scholarship no partial uh, option is there yeah so, so yeah so what's your experience about getting a part time job or getting a student okay. assistantship um uh, you must have heard about uh, stud stud is a, is an uh, i suppose it's an organization which uh, works with tudelf and it's the best way if you want to work as a part time because that's the only people who can give you part time job because uh, it's oh, okay. difficult I, get... I did not know about it i will leave the details uh, in the description below okay 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 stud it's very that's the only people that's the only way people here do uh, part time job and uh, tu delf is the employer will be the employer because uh, if you if you are trying for part time job here uh, people expect uh, people expect you to know dutch and not just uh, speaking hi and hello you have to communicate with them because you have to communicate with the local people so they prefer uh, dutch people uh, to get the part time job so um, if you want to do part time job study is, is an option and you'll be working in tudelf uh, doing some work like there will be various kinds of work and you will be paid hourly on hourly basis uh, like 10 euros it starts it varies from uh, 10 euros till to 15 16 euros so uh, just uh, provide the details in the uh, description and then everyone can see uh, this and uh, there are opportunities for the ta uh, it's not that easy you have to look for it you have to ask professors if any position is available you have to but yeah you'll get to know after one year it's not uh, you can't start it from, uh, from the first year so it will be you'll be in, it's it becomes and also um, it's uh, the ta job is for one year so you have to understand that if you're planning to do thesis from somewhere else uh, so you have to you have to yeah and you load i choose that you can't choose that yeah uh, and do you have any experience of any of your friends getting something like uber eats or something or no no like uber for the part time job in a restaurant or dominos or no i haven't seen any indian people working okay. in restaurants or yeah uber eats because uh, again i would say dutch that's yeah okay uh, yeah it hampers dutch and um, if you are um, if you are working as a delivery guy you have to know every each and every corner of the place <laughs> so that you can reach yeah so that could... that is again not easy for a new person who's arriving yeah yeah <laughs> yeah i can totally agree even if you have the gps you will be confusing because streets are small and then you have to <laughs> people confuse a lot of time even the people who are here who are who, are, who have been living here <laughs> they confuse uh, when they come to my streets and uh, they found out that okay no i have to go somewhere else okay. it becomes difficult so and do you have any study groups because in computer science when i did my masters we had some study groups like uh, I, i don't mean study groups but which organize social events like some associations there are few associations so do you have some kind of association like yeah, that yeah yes 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 every faculty has that Uh, it's like uh, the name of the study group is Delft SEA. Uh, it's uh, for the Sustainable Energy Association, uh, which organizes not only social stuff but uh, organizes uh, lunch. Uh, uh, what do I say? Lunch. Um, I'm not remembering the name. Is it like uh, walk-in lunch, 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 lunch lecture? Lunch lecture. Lunch lecture. Okay. Okay. Lunch okay. lecture. Yeah, that which is very I'll, common I'll, here because initially yeah, I found it very weird. Like you are talking. It's very and... common, and it's very good to get free lunch there. <laughs> this is the thing. Um, this is the way to <laughs> invite people. Okay, you are getting free lunch, so <laughs> to gather as much as possible to gather people. <laughs> so yeah, they conduct lunch lecture in which uh, you'll be you'll be hearing lectures from. Uh, people from the industry or also from different uh, university professors they come and they give lectures and they attend those uh, kind of things and they also attend they uh, they organize uh, other events also like uh, some social events like uh, after completing your um, study after completing after giving the exam once uh, they organize this pub crawl 
in which all of you can gather and just have beers and everything and have fun uh, sometimes uh, they also organize barbecue at some place so yeah these kind of stuffs happen okay okay so then i don't think i should ask the next question because you already talked about the social life like <laughs> you have a lot of social activities be it in your group or be it in your friend circle yes and uh, yeah so you can quickly say like what are the according to what you have seen what are the proportion of roughly what is the proportion of indian students international students and how is the overall atmosphere if you want to sum it up in one or two lines okay indian students in my class i would say it's around 40% are indian <laughs> that's too much and yeah 40% i would say not yeah around 40 30 to 40% are indians and uh, rest are from netherlands and very few from other countries in the europe and the proportion is uh, and also in tiu delf uh, the last year there were around 1200 students indian students uh, somewhat around 1200 indian students have joined for the masters course so you can see the proportions are very high Uh, okay what are the job opportunities after masters which you will obviously face after one year right like yes yeah so maybe whatever you you know like till now the idea uh, what are the job opportunities and what companies can you work for i think you already addressed that before in the internship so you don't need to go into details of the companies but you can just say like uh, maybe one or two positions that someone can work in your field in tiu delf sustainable energy technology mm-hmm. netherlands and uh, do you also have this career fair which happens for the whole university uh, yes. where you can meet companies not like hired like a campus you have in india but you just meet companies <laughs> like yeah it's for the networking it's yeah. very so just tell me your experience of it yeah it's very different from in india because in india uh, companies come at your place and then they hire you and this uh, you have to contact the company people you have to build your network and in this way uh, you can get the company you can get the job so getting a job is difficult i won't say it's not possible it's uh, it's possible it's difficult you have to build your network through linkedin it's one of the uh, major part because uh, it's very it's very important to have a linkedin account and to have to uh, to get more uh, contacts it depends on your course whether you are choosing solar or you are choosing wind if you are choosing for solar you can work as a solar design engineer or somewhere in the uh, you can work uh, in the company you can work in the industry where you have to work in the research part in the research organization like a, a tno or ecn ecn is a part of the tno uh, it's very it's very it's very good for the it's uh, for the sustainable energy technologies and um, as i already mentioned and um, eneco is there so okay that's it yeah okay so maybe if you are wondering how we'll contact uh, mrinal so i will leave his contact details in the description below i'll also leave all the companies and everything we mentioned the links in the description below so that you can click on it and have a look and please don't bother him with irrelevant questions because everyone each of us whoever is doing masters or phd everyone is busy so try to ask which is not really covered in the interview and which is really relevant and uh, finally before ending uh, i want to ask like do you want to give any specific advice or tips uh for the incoming aspirants who want to study in tiu delf masters in sustainable energy technology yeah if you have already decided to study this uh, course sustainable energy technologies and if you have already chosen for the tiu delf then you have done the major part uh, most of the part is already done and then you have to decide uh, which topic you know, which profile you want to choose because uh, people come thinking that uh, they will study wind or they will study solar and then by coming here uh, they completely change uh, the thinking and then yeah they choose something else so you have to um, uh, you have to you have to be completely aware of this do proper research about the field which you are choosing and yeah if you have any doubt um, you can ask me regarding the courses <laughs> 
Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much for uh, giving your time on a weekend, giving your valuable time because I know during my masters how busy I was. <laughs> and uh, thank you for giving your time. And thank if you so much. If you like this video, then don't forget to smash the like button and please share this video, help each other out, uh, share the information with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed yet. Till next video series, we'll meet you soon. Goodbye from Netherlands. Bye-bye.